Order January 5th, 2017. Third. Third. Or January 3rd, 2017. Uh, any additions to the agenda? No. Oh, you got, it. You got Alex. Alex, you want to give the blessing? All right. Our dear Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, we ask first that you will bless with understanding, with unity, and with thy assistance in carrying forth all of the direction and responsibilities that the City Council has before them. Be with them, strengthen them, and may they, may they be unity and success in all things. And dear Heavenly Father, we pray thee that thou will uh, assist us even as we need direction personally in our daily lives and in those things which we aspire to achieve correctly. And we ask thee, dear Heavenly Father, that you would be with those who are operating to be with and to strengthen our ability to have food, other, other necessities, and, and uh, let it be, bring us forth that which we all stand in need of, need of for our daily food, our daily bread, our daily meat, and other provisions as soon as possible. And may, may those who are, have, have charge be guided by Thee in all that they do. And this I ask in Jesus' name, our Holy Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Thank Any additions to the agenda? No additional amendments. Oh, well, you got You already have. Let me look at that one. What's to do with them? Oh, I'm going to talk about trash. Yeah, there's a new one. Because there's like four or five additions. So. Okay. I guess there is some additions to the menu. Oh, agenda. <clears throat> Consent agenda approved appropriation orders 1229-2016 to reissue a voided check for a skid steer minus a warranty fee. Police department purchase of t tasers. City clerk solid waste fees and new resolution. Interim city superintendent seal bid on old subsite locator. Executive session for 20 minutes to discuss non-elected personnel possibly hire. Is that in term city of superintendent? That's right. Well, the, That's yeah, right. but there's an executive session down at the end of the agenda. Okay. I guess That's we where can it's wait going to go. Last, yeah. Any other additions? So moved. Got a motion? Second. And a second. All in favor? All opposed? Passes five. Any citizen comments? Any, any citizen comments? Consent agenda. Approve the regular council meeting December 20th, 2016 and the special council meeting December 29th, 2016. Do we want this consent agenda? Uh -huh. Do I have to need to read these again? No. Okay. Appropriation ordinance 1-3 of 2017. Appropriate mm -hmm. invoice which was over the authorized expending authority of period 13 and Wesco 087545 in the amount of $5,617.95 for automatic meter reading. Unless there's any questions, I'd entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Any more discussion? I will make sure that what we read, the additions to the agenda, is part of that consent agenda. Mm -hmm. All in favor? All opposed? Passes five and zero. 
Department Heads Committee Reports, Grocery Store Task Force, Tonya isn't here. Council have anything that wants me to visit with Tonya about? Okay. See if we have any other options on grocery stores. Okay. Grant Administrator Lisa Cornwell, not here. Council have anything I need to discuss with her? Thank you. Police Chief Saylor, report. Um, I don't have anything to report um, under the addition to the agenda for the purchase of tasers. Um, in 2017, when we uh, started doing VIN inspections, um, basically since, since then up until now, we've received it in $2,296. Um, from the bid inspections, um, and by statute that money can only be spent um, for law enforcement purposes. Um, our, the tasers we purchased five years ago, um, taser essentially has kind of a five-year shelf life on those, um, so I want to approach the council about uh, getting those replaced and using that bid money to do that. Um, the individual cost of each taser is $964.05, um, and then the battery that goes with it is uh, sixty-eight dollars and two cents. So the total price for two tasers and two batteries would be two thousand sixty-four dollars fourteen cents. Um, if you would uh, entertain appro approving it, I would ask that you allow me to an expenditure, an expenditure not to exceed the two thousand two hundred ninety-six dollars because we have some cartridges and some stuff we need to get also. But I'm not. We have some in in our ammo locker. I'm not quite sure where we're at with those. Um, so that would, that's what I would request for the taters. And there's how much in the? There's two thousand two hundred ninety-six in the in the bank account. He's had it for two years. Some discussion. I don't have a problem with that. No. I make a motion to approve up to two thousand two hundred ninety-six dollars on tasers. Second. Equipment. Got a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All, all, uh, all four, all opposed, five, zero, passes. Okay, Go ahead. Thank you. Chief Sailor, I have one question for you. Um, you know the um, fire hydrant on Santa Fe and 5th, mm -hmm. the accident that happened there, uh, has that been resolved? That would be a question for the city attorney. It has been resolved. Yes. He entered into a diversion agreement. Okay. Yeah, don't know where he is on pain. Okay. I, I don't need to know any of that. I just needed to make sure it was because I had a couple of people who uh, frequent that area that asked me about yeah. that. So, great. Both individuals. Excellent. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other questions for Adam? Are we going to get the water hydrant put back in or is it already back we in? We have not bought one yet. We were waiting on the diversion and that to see. Um, we can go ahead and order one now. Just a shade over $2,000. Any other questions when on the that? HD guy comes by, we'll price it here probably this week or next week. So I'll have an answer for you next meeting. Fire Chief Marsh Michael's not here. Anything you can ask him about? City Clerk, what order? So um, at the special meeting, I asked to encumber $3,260 to get a new copier and printer. Um, I've done some research and I've talked to OPI. We spent last year on Vicky's one printer and my printer, the toner alone. You saw the email, it came to $3,446 just in toner. Um, the printer and the agreement will cover all the toners. It will call the maintenance. It will be just like this one. Um, my plan is to sell Vicky's and mine off, either to a different department or to, to Purple Wave, to recoup some of the money, but then you guys would have two big printers and copiers in here when they do it. I just um, need approval to do that. So moved. Thank you. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? All opposed? Five and oh, I guess you get to get your printer. Thank you. <laughs> uh, interim city super... We got to talk about the solid waste. <laughs> All in waste. Okay, so today has been um, kind of an interesting day. 
for me in, in solid waste. Um, I've had a little of that too. <laughs> so I just I I just want to kind of get some instruction from you guys. We do have to write a new resolution for the fees. So before John and I wrote it, we just wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page. Um, we've had several questions on the totes. One of them being that the people that have already owned the totes from Unruin. Do they have to sell it back? If they don't want to sell it back, can they get another tote from from Unruh's because they're keeping theirs? Because Unruh's going to supply everybody with totes. At first, Grant said yes. Then when we asked again, he said yes, he will do that. But if they have two totes and they fill up both totes, then we're going to charge them additional to pick up their trash. So then that led me to the question, is, is the fee per totes or is the fee per household? Then I, had, I called John to get John's whole take on it, and I think the contract says per household. The city ordinance doesn't say per tote, but you guys kind of have to tell me which way. The resolution says, the ordinance just says that you guys are adopt, to adopt fees from time to time. They have be adopted is per residence, the contract is per residence. Correct. And they don't have to sell back their toads. You can't force them to sell back their toads. But they would be required to have another one if they wanted another one. I, it's it's up to you whether you guys want to charge no. an additional fee per toad. But okay. Because he then they should have said when they negotiated right. the contract. No, it's always yeah. been that it's so okay. much per household. Well, right. no matter what. Well, yeah. you got right. four trash cans or one. All right, so we just wanted to make sure that was clear before I went back to Grant because, like mine, I had three totes, and so I paid the additional charge for the extra tote because it was $4, and I figured I was still making off good because if I had gotten a dumpster, I still would save the money with my three totes. But the way John and I think it sounds is he can't tell somebody that he's just going to pick up his tote and if he doesn't pick up, if someone uses someone else's tote, he's going to charge them an additional fee for picking up someone else's tote. Right. So before I go back tomorrow, I just want to make sure we are all clear. It is twenty-one twenty-five per household, mm -hmm. right? No matter how much trash is there. Yeah, if it's a that's holiday or a birthday party, then there's going to be trash all the way around that can, and they're going to have to pick it up. Is it okay. twenty one twenty five or twenty dollars? Their fees. No, their fee is twenty, oh, but oh, ours is a dollar twenty five. So it. Comes I had several to, questions about that. Yes, they, their fee is twenty. It's not twenty dollars a month extra. It's up to twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars, and it's twenty one and twenty five. We we will need to adopt a resolution. Correct. Before. But it's all supposed to take effect. What April one? Was it April one or March? Well, 1? he wants oh, it March. effective. February 1st, but if we do it, I mean, I told him everyone had to have a tote first, and then the month following that, we could we could do it. I can't, like, if he doesn't have all the totes delivered by the time Pam makes the bill out, he's going to have to wait till. Well, he made next. it sound like it was going to take a quarter before yeah. all those totes. Well, I'll just prepare the resolution and just. And so then that way we just. Date it for some point in the future. We just, just have it. For clarification, I was asked if they are going to dump any cans with lids on them, and I told them no. Is that correct? Well, the ordinance says that somebody could have, if, if you fill your tote, you can have an extra can. Right, as long as it follows the city ordinance guideline. Like if I have my tote, but I have additional trash, but the trash I put it in is in another tote with a lid, they have to pick it up because I'm following the solid waste ordinance. My thought process was that if somebody's paying for a tote, they're going to use a tote. But it sounds like we've got people who want yeah. to pay for a tote but not use the tote. <laughs> Correct. I've had we've had a couple of calls that they don't want the tote because they've already spent money purchasing another tote. So they don't want a roof's tote, and they don't have the space for the extra tote, Green and it's to just going to take up space. <laughs> and, and I kind of said, well, we're going to talk about it tonight, but I'm pretty much going to tell them that they're pretty much stuck with a tote. 
I mean, that's the way the contract reads is everybody okay. gets a tote. You might want to call Kenny King or Kenny Clark because I might have missed okay. re represented that. Well, then we, we got questions about that because we got questions. If we, if we fill up his tote, can we use another tote? You know, and I said yes, but then when I talked to Grant, he said yes, but then I'm going to charge them for that additional tote. I mean, you want them to, to put their additional trash in a trash can. But you don't want to have them have to buy an extra tote for that one time a year after Christmas that right. they need it. And I don't want them to get charged just because they have to use an extra tote. Buck up to Grant. Tell All right. Well, my thought is, let's not. Boxes out there, you ought to be able to set them there by the trash. Had you not, some of the people have built containments. Mm -hmm. Correct. Trash cans mm -hmm. in. And the wind. And the, wind. the totes are probably not going to fit them containments. That's what we're kidding with Kenny. Right. I got a call on that too. And Did I, you? Okay. I, well, well it wasn't Kenny. That. It was someone else, and I just said, "Well, you're going to end up with a tote." So you can either put it in your garage, or you can roll it out, or you can... You're, we you're have to do the resolution, so I'll do the resolution. I think we need to hold off on that in the ordinance. So it's <laughs> out a little bit. I think this is just like when we you took on the services right. of Unruh, there was some... As long as they use a approved trash approved can. Approved a trash can. Okay. I just want to make sure, because... Tomorrow I will call Grant and I will tell him he cannot charge extra for totes. Now, the contract does say if he has to go like an extra day to pick up the trash, he can charge that person for that extra day, but it is between Grant and that person. Like the, a couch or something. Like, like a that. couch. Yeah. Or like if it takes another day, like if he has to come back Thursday to pick up trash, he can charge that person for coming back Thursday, but that's between him and that yeah. person. It doesn't, he can't come into Pam and say, Well, I had to pick up extra chat trash at Jeff's, so I want you to add five, six dollars. Yeah. That's the other thing, is you're, the city is paying him. Right. So I think the city just pays him on a per residence basis. I think so too. <laughs> I'm telling you, we had all kinds of trash <laughs> talk today. <laughs> I hear yeah. a lot of trash here. All right. Well, I only referred two people, so the rest of the, the three of us in here pretty much oh, handled it when they came in here. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I had. Wow. Okay. Uh, now it brings us to interim city superintendent. Yeah. When uh, when we priced the, the skid steer. I, on the second page of that, I don't know whether you still got the bid on it or not. Most of you probably don't. But I, I priced out buying a a broom and a grapple fork. And uh, at that time, I think I stated that I thought they were awful high and we could buy them a little more reasonable than that. I have found a place uh, west of Newton where I can buy the grapple, the broom, and a tooth bucket that has replaceable teeth on it. All three for the price of fifty-three hundred dollars. If I take all three pieces, so um, it's something that we've looked at at either at purchasing, you know, sometime before spring, so it was usable, especially the broom and the grapple for trash and alleys and that stuff. So um, two of them I could have bought; they were under my limit. But by by putting all three of them together, I can do one and make one trip. If you allow me to buy all three of them at the same time, there'll be no tax on it, and the money we were going to take out of what's been encumbered and carried over. So, I thought you were talking about trying to buy that stuff off the purple. I looked. I've been watching those for the last well ever since we first started talking about this. In the last grapple I watched sell, which sold last Thursday, brought three hundred dollars more than this one, and it was used. So that's kind of where I. Last week uh, I had to make a trip out of town, and so I stopped and looked at these, and and they might not be, you know, quite as good a quality as what you would get if you bought a four thousand dollar grapple, but I think you know we're not doing pastures and that stuff, and we can make this equipment last a long, long time, and uh, so I felt like not spending 
not coming and asking for seven or eight or nine thousand when I think I can cover everything that I need for fifty three hundred dollars. So that's kind of where I was at. I got a question. Does that broom or do any other brooms are they hydraulically yes. angled? Yes, they do. One way. This one? Mm hmm. Only one way? One way, yes. Which way? They're made to pitch out. They're it's made the, to kick like out. You in the street and pitch yeah. to the curb? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But I just didn't <coughs> figure for the difference in the chrome paint and that. that you know, when I looked these over, and, and there, this guy that I talked to, he. There's probably 50 or 60 pieces at the place I looked at, and uh, he sells to a lot of municipalities and that stuff, and uh, he just said he'd never had one turned back in for damage, you know, and he sold a lot of them, so I think they're probably durable enough for what we need, but they wouldn't be the top chrome piece on the line, but they'd still be good enough to last for a long, long time here, I think. So That was 5,300 5, total? 5,300, yeah, mm -hmm. no tax, because it'd be a, street, be a street purchase, so there'd be no tax on it. That's where I got my rifle. It was. It looked like pretty good equipment, I thought, for the money. Are you happy with yours, Bob? Huh? Are you happy with yours? Yeah, the only thing I'm a little dissatisfied with the way they got the hydraulic hose. We, 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 we oh, yeah. Every one I've run, the, the hoses will get pinched yep. on occasion. Well, that's the right spot. Yeah, I think it's pretty hard to cover them up where they can't, you know, where you, one time or another, if you're not paying attention, you'll probably catch one we have on our loader, you know, a couple times. but. All in all, I think for the amount of use that we put that old loader through, it's probably, you know, we need to replace the hoses now, but gosh, we've had them on there for 15 years, I suppose. So, I mean, it's not like we're going to wall through the brush in a pasture tearing down trees and stuff. I mean, for loading and that type of stuff, and it's also a bottom-type bucket where, where we can clean the bottom of it and it doesn't have tines on it so that what we pick up will contain instead of dragging it slobbering out, so I felt like that was a little better deal than buying one of the tines on it so we could clean it, clean it up. So, Where would you say that from? It's west of Newton. It's a place called H&H. &H. The guy owns an auction service and then he started selling those uh, attachments and he's got everything from six foot up to eight or nine depending on what size of machine you got. And uh, it looks like, you know, it looks like it's worth the money. So, I'd make a motion to approve $5,300 for a grapple broom and a bucket. Second. <coughs> Got a motion and a second on the table. Any, any, any more discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Passes 4 and 1. Kevin voted no. That's all I have till the end of the meeting. Oh, yeah, I guess that'd be a okay. sealed bid for that old locator from Jerry. He'd asked for it to be sealed, and so he brought it by. He was going to give, I think, unless it changed, $150 for that old locator that we well, do I have a question about dragging Broadway and dragging Exchange Street? Then since early October. Are you talking about far south, south of the tracks? All of it. I mean, that's the only... The only dirt streets on Exchange and Broadway. All of it. Well, now, Broadway's been drugged. <coughs> I know. It was drugged two weeks ago. Um, exchange, I don't know about. When? But I also know that we haven't had enough moisture to roll very much either. Um, we did make a pass this last week on a lot of those. I don't know that he got all of them. But he got, you know, he got what he could, but until we get Broadway, some moisture. Broadway might need some material. And it may. It very well may. And we've also got some problems out north of town on uh, Northwest Street with the dirt. You know, the county drags that road now uh, north of Frank's going on out towards the sewer plant. We've got some dirt coming away from some manholes out there. But, you know, until we get some way to hold it down, why? I mean, we can cut the tops off of them, but we'll be there three times a week. and just shuffling loose dirt. Uh, I pray for moisture too, but you know, I'll do what I can. Uh, I'll look at them in the morning, we'll see. But boy, until we get a little moisture, it's going to be tough to drag very much. It really is. But we'll do what we can. You get your question answered, Ted? No. 
once a month would be minimum, I would think, no matter what the moisture is. We'll do it that way. That's what I mean, you drive done. your bucket truck through it almost every day. Uh, the on first, Broadway. The first on Broadway. I would just do you it. You mean south of the tracks? Yeah. Yeah, that's a I deal. Level all or something. Yeah, we're going to, and you're right, and we've talked to the railroad <laughs> about that too, about repairing their stuff so we can at least make it worth dragging. You know, maybe we need to maybe we need to rip it a little bit and put some rock in it and straighten it up. I, you know, I'm game to do whatever. It's not very good. You're right. That's all. I'm going to have to have a little bit of equipment to do it, though. I don't think I got anything coarse enough to rip it. I mean, that old rock's we put a lot of rock in that thing, and it's pretty rough. Well, on the south side. Yes. We tore that out years ago, you know, and, and then the railroad wouldn't let us put any asphalt back up to it. And the last, the south tracks got holes in the ties, you know, yay big. And I mean, between the road and the holes, I don't know which is worse. But yeah, I mean, we'll we'll try something. I don't know what, but we'll try something. You don't have a ripper on the treasure, do you? Yeah, we do have some scare our teeth. We might shake it apart trying, but we can try it. We'll see what we can do. Well, I guess see if the county's got one. Yeah. Uh, county's got some equipment there. Yeah. Oh, man. We'll, uh, we'll put them teeth on there and take them shanks and rip it down, see if we can. Can't hurt it any, that's for sure. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay, back to the seal bid that we were talking about, I think we did here. Old subsite locator from the city shop, bid is $75.01. He changed it. He must not be as valuable to him as he thought. <clears throat> He wrote it on the back that. of the. He wrote it on a piece of paper. Uh, it's just scrap paper. Pretty, pretty fancy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just telling. Yeah, I'll let you guys look at it. That's uh, that's Pam's handiwork for you. That's the scrap piece she keeps by the desk. Any more discussion on the? It's just sitting in the tool room. Locator. Nope. Oh, yeah, doesn't have it. It's seven Moving on. Or We'll have to do you have that. to approve it? Do you want to accept the bid, or do you not want I to took accept the, the bid? Or they didn't there. say anything, so the court officer is sitting in the back room? Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've never used problem. one. I don't know. Jeff? We've got a brand new one. I mean, we bought one earlier this fall when Corey was still here. Oh, that one just sitting into it. Yeah, might as well get some money and out of it. I think they've gotten to the point where it wasn't hardly repairable. He wanted it for some parts, I think, is what he wanted it for. But, you know, it's just taking up space and tour. And 75 so. more dollars and a penny more than yeah, the other heads. Whatever, so. whatever you want. So we'll make a motion to approve it. We'll move to approve it. Yeah, second. <clears throat> Got a motion and second. All in favor? All opposed? Passes 5 and 0. The locator will be sold to Jerry Monday. <clears throat> Okay, city attorney, I guess. Anybody got any more questions for Jeff? Okay. City attorney, John, annexation of the shortstop. Oh, I'm just waiting to hear back from Randy Anderson. Mm -hmm. I emailed him all of the documents that I found today, and I have not heard back from him. He just need to, needs to adjust his legal description. So. He was working on some kind of end of year project for the holidays, so I just need to keep bugging him. Ain't got any got <coughs> questions for Joe? I think you have to do this in open session and then move into the land bank. Doesn't he have to make the appointment for Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got to get out of the city hall first. No, no, no. no. You're, you're going to do city hall, you're going to appoint Ryan, and then you're going to go and make move into the mayor. Okay, has that got to be a motion and vote As on? mayor, you're recommending, and then someone has to approve your recommendation. As mayor, I'm recommending that Ron Christie be appointed to the to the land bank as of June or January 3rd, 2007. So moved. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Passes four and zero, and Ryan didn't vote. Of course, he could. No, I don't think we need to do this in executive session. It's clear what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. This is tax sale. I'm not discussing price in open meeting. 
Well, if you're wanting to pay a profit, I guess. You're looking, this is for bidding authority? That's I mean, authority. if I don't know what everybody wants to do. Okay, all right. So, I guess we need a recess. And you got a recess to the land bank. Okay, I gotta adjourn the council meeting. Mm -hmm. Just recess. You gotta recess the council meeting to the land bank, and then Kevin gets to run the land bank because he's president. Okay. <laughs> recess from the oh, so. from the city yeah. council meeting. Yeah, you are. And rise. I don't think we're here one night. Nope. Oh. <laughs> land bank meeting. Yeah, because he has okay. a because okay. now okay. someone's going to make make a motion to move into executive session mm -hmm. and tell me who they want and how long it's going to be, and then it'll be closed. Okay. So I'm I'm already I'm, I'm done. I'm all right. I'm all right. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. And who do you want? Council and mayor and attorney. Yeah, and you? Okay. You got all the you know all the information, I guess. So moved. Second. <laughs> well, yeah, you sure don't want Jeff? I don't need to be. He might be able to tell us something about something. <laughs> whether whether it could be burnt down or cold. Yeah, down. I can tell you, I can tell you enough about that. Not me. All right. Thanks. So Smoke break. Yep. Yep. Second. All in favor say aye. All in favor. Ten minutes. Ten, Ten minutes. minutes. Back in the mayor. Call the council meeting back to order. What? I mean, you are just. I'll wait. Yeah, hammer next time. Okay. Uh, Old business? Nope. Yep. New business? Nope. Yep. Now, uh, exactly. I gotta get, get down there first before okay. they all start shooting off. So. I need to okay. entertain a motion for an executive session. 20 minutes for discuss non elected personnel, possibly hire for the interim city administrator or city superintendent. Good. Can I include? The council. Make a motion for a 20 minute executive session to discuss non elected personnel, possible hire, including council, mayor, turn on, good on it. Second. And, yeah. We've got a motion and a second. All in favor? All opposed? Passes 5 and 0.